What's up, man? Finax is Tech Finax Nine from AndroidJackofBoxFed.com, and right here I got a ROM review of Slim Bean. Yes, it's a Slim Bean. That means it's a Jelly Bean ROM for your Galaxy Nexus, for GSM, Verizon, and Sprint. If you don't find out how to install it, just check it right there. This is a very stable ROM, so head over right there and install right now. And but right now, I just want to tell you why it's called Slim Bean. Slim Bean, because it's a very small file. It's very sleek and small. The biggest file ROM that I remember was only 70 MB. That was the biggest ROM I ever seen on Slim Bean. So it's very small. Usually you get 140 MB for usual ROMs, custom ROMs. So right away, let's just look at it, and you can see that you got a camera, unlock, and Google Now. So this just come with Google Now. So if you so if you already installed Slim Bean, you have Google Now. Watch my video. You have to install a second part to it. So anyway, you got your Slim Bean, and right away you can probably tell that all the icons are smaller. Yes, this this ROM makes your phone feel so much bigger. It makes your hand feel so big. It makes your phone screen feel really big because of the icons are really small. And not just the home screen is small. Everything is small. The app drawers, all the icons are small. The Google Play Store is small as well. As you can see it's smaller. Let's search something. Let's just search Quadrant. So as you can see everything is smaller all the wording and everything is smaller as well it is installed a little differently because it, it's a pop-up more like a tablet mode it just pop up when you when you tap on install in the Google Play Store uh, the keyboard is also smaller let me show you that it's slightly smaller but not not a big difference you can't notice it at all so one of the main features is, is that it's smaller and very light and compact now, when it's called Slim Bean, I mean this is a great ROM. It's a performance ROM. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a quick quadrant score right away because I want to show you that it's actually made for performance. So you're gonna get a pretty good score. If you've been watching my other ROM reviews for Galaxy Nexus, you'll notice that I got around 2,100. I want to wa watch this one, and you'll you'll be pretty amazed of how good it is. And this is overclocking. This is just normal stack. No overclocking. No underclocking. So I'm ready to just start it up. Okay, it's finished. So let's just press yes and let's actually see the score of it. So your device right there. I actually got a better score last time I did this. I just did this about 10 minutes earlier. But you can see right there, it does better on the black. So right there, you got 2,664. That's an insane. That's just about 500 more score than the usually the other custom ROMs I get. I usually get 1000 or 2100 or 2200 on my other custom ROMs without overclocking and underclocking as well. So this is a crazy ROM. I actually want to see what I get when I overclock it because that's going to be a crazy high number out there. Alright, so it did come in third place or fourth place. It was on third last time. So it's right there. Fourth place. So that's very good for this type of phone. Galaxy Nexus is a great phone, and that's another reason why Gal you should get a Galaxy Nexus. It's just great. So anyway, let's just go into settings and see other features. Let's go into settings. As you got, you got themes. And you got advanced slim settings right here. So let me show you right there. You guys can't see that. So all right. So you got like general UI, LED options. Let's do all of the LED options. So if you saw my AOKP one, this has the same settings. Navigation bar. Um, let's change that. Let's do recent. So you can actually change it. So I have recent, home, recent. So you can actually change where the buttons go. Toggle widget. So right there you got toggle widget now. So that, that's pretty cool. So I don't know why that's not working. Kill app. So that's pretty cool. You can change all the bottom software keys, navigation keys. So that's really cool. So this is a very light and slim ROM. So if you're the type of person who thinks of their phone as a sports car, very slim, light, and quick, this is the ROM for you. And it's also stable, right? So even though it's Jelly Bean, and Jelly Bean just came out not, about a month ago, I believe, it's it's stable. It's been tested a lot better beta users tested and all this so you may find a little bit of bugs but nothing major nothing they should be worried about because there will be fixes for this ram so this is a great ram overall i would highly recommend it to anyone who wants a quick speedy phone that's light and quick if you're into quick and light this is the ram for you this is an excellent jelly bean ram 
probably the very first light rhymes that have been released for Jelly Bean, probably the biggest and most popular ones yet. So this is a great ROM. Get this ROM and don't forget to check out right there if you wanna if you wanna know how to install if you don't know how to. So thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful, all the quadrant scores, what it what it, some of the features it offers and all that. So don't forget to subscribe and rate for more great content and all that good stuff. And if you need support on anything related to Android, you can contact me at Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter in the description below. All three links in the description below. See you in the next video guys.